Hey guys, what's up? Shin055 here, back with a drawing video. It is Sunday, we're making a drawing video. And today's video is on uh, KO from the show OK KO. Uh, it's like a new Cartoon Network show. Um, I've never seen it, but I, I know what it looks like. And uh, this is the main character, KO. And I also wanted to draw this this week, uh, mainly because, just to let you guys know, um, Sonic and Tails are actually going to cameo in an episode... Uh, I don't know when it airs, but um, it's sometime this month. But they're going to have an episode that stars Sonic and Tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. So I've never watched the show, but I will be sure to watch that episode just to see how it is. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this video just to kind of let you guys know because I just found out like a little while ago. So, um, yeah, anyway, guys, uh, let's get our pencils ready. And Oh, and this video was requested by... Uh, Sherry uh, Ligon, Ligon, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right, um, thank you Sherry for the request, and uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright guys, let's get our pencils ready, and there we go, whoops, <laughs> good start. Okay, anyway guys, uh, KO isn't actually that hard to draw. So basically what we're going to want to start out doing is drawing kind of like a big circle. Uh, this is going to be his head right here. Um, he's going to have another big circle here for a fist kind of out here. And then his body is just kind of like this uh, kind of square shape almost. And then it has like another little square shape under here for his pants. And then his legs kind of go out here and down. Like that. And he's going to have a foot about here. And then this foot just kind of goes straight and across. And then he's going to have another fist about here. And that's pretty much good for the gesture. So um, now that we got that down, I'm going to zoom in. And now we're going to do his uh, face. And if you want to, you can kind of draw in the crosshairs. We're not going to use them that much. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing a big circle for his eye. Right here, keep it nice and round. And then we're going to draw another circle right next to it, about the same size. Like that. And then just to kind of finish off his eyes, he has, um, his pupils are basically this big oval. And you can shade that in, make it look a little bit better. So just two ovals like this. And then once you get that down, you can kind of draw in his hair. Because his hair goes right off his eyes. So it's going to start about here. And there's a straight line going down. And then it goes into a spike. And then you get another spike going out here like this. And then one more that kind of goes over and then up. Like that. And then he has a headband that kind of goes below his eyes. So... Start a little curve line here. Again, kind of overlap the eyes a little bit. And then go up. And then up. And then over. So you get a nice rectangle. And then we can finish off his hair by off this uh, corner right here. We're going to draw, uh, draw a line going straight up. About this high. And then we're going to get a little spike here. Turn the paper a little bit. And you basically just get a big curve line that curves out and over like this. And that's one spike, and then you get another one, and then it just kind of curves in to the head right there. So you just get a big one spike, two spike, and then just kind of straight line going up from the headband like that. And then we could draw on his face, which his nose is pretty simple. It's basically just a line going down, across, and then slightly up. So down, across, up, and it goes off the eye right here. And once we get that down, we can kind of draw in a smile, which is a big kind of U, or like a really elongated oval type shape like this. Really round. And then we can draw in his teeth, which is um, three bumps. So you get one, two, and three. And then the last one kind of starts a little bit before here and just kind of curves up like this. And then you get his little tongue, which is basically just a curved line right here. And then for the rest of his head, actually I actually want to make this a little bit longer. It basically just kind of follows 
the mouth it's going to go out a little bit and then up like that and you can erase that little indent that's good and now uh, we can draw the rest of his body in so basically what you want to do is draw a curved line that curves down kind of straightens out here and then it's going to go into like a triangle or V shape and then curve back up and then this line is going to curve down over and then in like this and now we're going to get a uh, curve line right here for his like t-shirt and then we get a line here for his chest which is just a straight line kind of going down like that and then for his pants it's just a curve line here and then we get like a big oval type shape here for his pants and then for his legs it's basically just um, kind of like two parallel lines so you get a line going down here here and then you get like a little curve line kind of making like a cylinder a line going up and then over like that and then same thing here just kind of two parallel lines but this one just goes straight down get your little cylinder and then goes up and then just the details on them there's a curve line here for where his pants end and then a curve, I'm gonna make this a little bit thinner and then a curve line here for where his socks end like that and if you want to you can kind of erase kind of the overlap here because you wouldn't draw that in and then his feet are pretty simple it's basically just a curve line like this a line going over and then another one here into like a foot shape like that and then just a little curve line here for his toes same thing on this side curve line down over and up for a nice little shoe shape and then a curve line here for the toes and now we can draw in the hands, which are pretty simple. Um, basically, we're going to start the circles like pretty, actually move it a little bit higher up, like there. But basically, I like starting with the thumb. And it's basically this curve line that curves around. And then you just kind of follow the circle shape like that. And then his hand goes, there's a line going in like this. And it's going to not connect here. We're going to stop it right there. This one we are going to connect. And then this line just goes up and over. Like that. And then there's a little curve line here for his wristband. And then this hand, I'm um, actually like drawing the arm first. So basically it's just a curve line that curves up and then over. And then you kind of go up and over here like this. And that's pretty good. And now we can draw on the fist and remake the circle. And this fist is kind of similar to the other one, a little bit more detailed. So we're going to get our little like U hook shape right here. And it's going to go up. And then over. And then around and in like this. But since this hand is more like towards us, it's going to get more detail. So we're going to draw a curve line here. And then another little kind of hook line here. And then another one here for the pinky. And just a little curve line here just to connect it into that one. So nothing too crazy. And then we get the wristband here. And then just to finish it off, um, basically from um, the end of the headband right here, that's what I was looking for, it's basically just a straight line going down like this. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty much how you draw a uh, KO from the show OK KO. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you know how to uh, draw KO now. And here's the sketch we just did. I'm going to move it over to the side a little bit here. Here is a more inked version where if you were to erase the guidelines and um, go over it in pen and erase all the guidelines, you get what you have on the left. So, um, anyway, thank you again, Sherry, for the request. Um, I like this one. I like drawing cartoon characters. They're nice and easy. <laughs> but uh, make for a quick video. But um, anyway, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this, feel free to leave that in the comment section below. 
Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff really helps me out. And if you guys have requests, I do take them. All you need to do is leave what you want me to draw in the comment section below. I will take your name and what you requested, put it on my head to draw list, and then on Sunday when I make a drawing video, I just randomly pick one off the list. There's no rhyme or reason. It's just what I feel like drawing that day. So, um, yeah, and remember to watch that uh, OK KO episode where uh, Sonic and Tails join in. That should be really cool. I'll actually watch that one. So, um, anyway, guys, uh, I will see you next Sunday, and uh, have a great day. Later.